Walking is one of the most popular physical exercises around the world that does not require any special skills or expensive equipment. However, walking has a wide range of health benefits like weight loss, lowering blood pressure, and cholesterol levels as well as improved memory. The exercise also reduces the risk of chronic diseases such as cardiovascular disease, diabetes, stroke, and cancer. It is against this background that sub the Coal Banjul branch, in collaboration with the Management Development Institution, MDI, convened the Walk for Health exercise meant to promote healthy body and mind. The five-kilometer exercise attracted about a thousand students from both institutions who walked from MDI School in Carnifin, Independent Stadium in Bacau through Kairaba Avenue and back to the MDI campus where the crowd converged for the formal speeches. We have just completed five kilometers in just about one hour. Group Sobdeco in partnership with MDI organizes this walk for health. As it is a culture in many Sobdeco campuses in Dakar, they just recently concluded the one in chess, which is their sixth edition. So it is the same culture that they have in Dakar. That's the same culture they want to replicate here. So the benefits of the walk for health is numerous. In short, it is meant to promote health in academics, um, connect administrators, as well as network among institutions and bringing people from different walks of life. Group Subdeco is a private institution and interdisciplinary research organization headquartered in Dakar, Senegal. With nearly 30 years of academic and professional experience, the global institution with trained executives and corporate allies with specialized courses operates in four African countries, including the Gambia, Senegal, Côte d'Ivoire and Djibouti. Abdul Aziz C. Jr., Deputy Executive Director of Subdeco Dakar Business School, who is also the Vice President of American Chamber of Commerce in Senegal, reflected on relations between MDI and Subdeco with date backed in July 2019, meant to promote and strengthen cooperation between the Gambia and Senegal, especially in the area of education. Gambia being next, being the closest neighbor that we had, it was natural to um, develop a connection with, uh, with uh, a big institution uh, in, in Gambia. And thankfully, we had the opportunity to meet MDI and we agreed about offering the best for the young people and uh, executives here in Gambia. Mr. C highlighted some of the achievements registered by the institution, including awarding scholarships to its outstanding students. One of the students studying international relations and diplomacy, Lamin Mane, received scholarship during the Work for Health exercise. Mr. Mane encouraged people with physical disabilities to pursue their educational dreams, adding that disability does not mean inability. I'm urging my fellow disabled that the sky is the limit. Let them come forward to attend courses and to empower themselves in order to be independent, but not to be dependent. Because it's through education we can be independent. Without that, the person with disability will be an, will going to continue to be a subject. So I'm urging my fellow disabled, let them come forward and learn. Let them come forward and make a meaningful life. Let them come forward and make the best use of their education. And the Minister of Youth and Sports, Bakari Y. Baji, called on young people to strive to improve their health by doing regular exercises. As you live here, make it a habit that occasionally, whether it's going to be twice or three times a week, or in the minimum, once a week, take a distance walk and see how your health is going to change. And that is the end part. Ali practiced, kicked off the day with more energy, focused and optimized, stimulated by a fun version of a lively musical performance in the excitement of the participations. <laughs> Reporting for Jazz Test News, I am Dado Cham.